Okay, folks, so this is the uh, new stents with my snorkel installed. As you can see, the snorkel lines up very, very well with my truck. And it actually blends in very well and complements the look. It looks like it was made for it. You can see it, the contour is very nicely set by me. It flows along the pillar of the windshield, not like the ones that you see posted on some of the internet website. When I made the installation, I made sure that it hugs the windshield pillar. And I didn't use the template. And I'll show you my relocation of the antenna. This is the relocation spot. Okay. My antenna. This used to be the old hole right there. Okay. But I relocated here by fabricating another hole right here. Okay. My vision in this build is that I want to make sure that the upright pillar flows with the contour of the windshield pillar and that's what I got I see a lot of folks who uses the template supplied when they buy this kit and the slanted pillar right there the snorkel pillar isn't doesn't flow with the pillar of the windshield and here's another look Okay, frontal view. It hugs along the line of this truck. Okay folks, so I'm test driving my truck with the snorkel installed. As you can see here, some folks think that with this added snorkel, uh, that isn't uh, built for the Tundra, the first generation Tundra, that it might induce more blind spot. But as you can see, it doesn't really affect the blind spot that much. The reason is because you can look out this way, look that way, and get rid of the blind spot. So, I don't feel any power loss. Um, it's super quiet. And I'm pretty satisfied with it. Let me make a U turn here. As you can see here, not much of a hindrance on blind spots. 
Okay. So, I'm pretty stoked. It was a job well deserved. <laughs>